Hey everyone, welcome to the new Impactathon account on Instagram. We want to start doing these brief, like impact chats on, um, you, you know, on on IGTV and YouTube. And so we're starting the first one, and I'm here with uh, Prashant. Prashant, it's really great to have you. Um, and can you introduce yourself a little bit? Yeah, so I'm currently a junior at Arizona State University, and I'm studying biomedical engineering. Um, and as for my interests and like hobbies, I'd say like I really enjoy kind of like doing service or like kind of like helping the community and just seeing it grow. Um, so like th that's kind of just what I enjoy doing. Awesome. And um, Prashant is interning, so we thought we would do this this first chat as asking each other questions. So you can jump in next. Okay. So we have Impactathon coming up uh, pretty soon. And so I think one of the questions that I had personally is what exactly happens at Impactathon um, during those two days? Yeah, so Impactathon is a kind of combination of um, a hackathon, a workshop, like impact talks, and it's all meant to put participants in the like driver's seat of like, you know, building teams, working on ideas, and even getting to points of challenge. So we almost want you to get to a point where maybe it's frustrating or it's challenging because if you have, you're surrounded by people to support you to kind of get through that challenge. So one of the unique things about the upcoming Impactathon is that it's the second fully virtual one. So no one is meeting in a room together. And so we're using different platforms such as Zoom, such as you know um, Discord and Google Drive and trying to create that feeling of like when you are, you know, you have, if you go to a, an event and there's, there's the main stage, but then there's also the, the breakout rooms and where people are actually working. So kind of create some of that. But the hope is that through that people will not, will get more informed about social entrepreneurship. They'll get some experience in pitching and forming teams and working on ideas. And they can, you know, it can plant the seed in their mind of if that's something they want to do, or if they want to, if, if they brought their idea here to take it further, that they can do that in that space. So. I think that it's actually really impressive that you guys are actually able to kind of fully transition to like an online setting, because I know that Impactathon has kind of been a rolling event for many years, but it's mainly been an in-person event. Yes, absolutely. It has been. And so that's been a big adjustment. But, you know, we're like we're part of the whole global, uh, you know, kind of service economy or convening economy, uh, um, you know, global conveners that are trying to find a way to create meaning online. So, yeah. But I'm kind of curious because what I, I love in working with you is that you're coming to this with such a brand new perspective. Like, you know, we, we call that the beginner mindset. So mm -hmm. for, I'm curious, of, you know, I've been living with these ideas for years, but when you first saw the word impacted on or when you started learning about what were your initial thoughts? Like, what's So your initially when I heard impact I was still kind of like really unsure as to like what exactly it was all about. So like reading further into it was kind of like, okay, it's more of like a hackathon, like people like get together in groups and they kind of like tackle like a problem. And that was kind of like the gist of what I, what I understood from that. And so I kind of saw Impactathon as like, okay, like you get together with people you haven't really met before and kind of all come together with your different backgrounds to kind of like tackle a solution and you present in front of a panel of judges. Um, I also have another question, actually, um, if that's okay, about Impactathon. Um, I was reading your book that you wrote, uh, 51 Questions about Social Entrepreneurship, and I noticed that Impactathon was sort of like first introduced there, and then after you had written the book with those characters, you decided to kind of actually form an Impactathon event. I wanted to know kind of like what your inspiration was um, behind creating this? Yeah, no, that's a good question. You know, Innovate Social has um, been around creating content around social entrepreneurship and really the, um, the, the mission, our work, the mission behind our work is to make social entrepreneurship more actionable, accessible, and transformative. So a lot of things around making it actionable is about making it 
something that people can actually use, not just read or be bystanders of. So one thing when you create content is you don't know how people are using it. You don't know if they listen to a podcast episode that leads them to, you know, change their career. Or if they read a blog post that leads them to apply for a fellowship program or something like that. But when um, I started doing some more like teaching, I kind of realized you are have a, you have a longer period of time to actually see how people engage with content. So I think from some of that, um, like the idea of creating an impactathon that is, and then I, I also love hackathons myself and I'm gonna ask you next about if you've been to a hackathon, but I, I really love that energy of this really unstructured, not content heavy, not a workshop or symposium with these long you know, talks, but really all about like getting in your, in your group and just working. And then you, you work really hard and fast because you're next to all these teams who are also working and are gonna be pitching you know, um, you know, uh, in, in, uh, with the same constraints that you will be. So I think combining that really propelling part of, an, of a hackathon with a light structure around just some light, like um, actionable pieces about what social enterprise is, I think is really empowering. You know? And then hopefully people leave with a skill set, but more than that, also a curiosity, like curiosity about learning more and thinking like, okay, this, this worked in this setting of doing the pitch or whatever, but you know, maybe, maybe it, you know, in this form, this social enterprise won't make sense or, or won't, won't, it'll be difficult to move forward, but maybe they can start thinking about what in the future they could create or how they could iterate it and keep, you know, moving. And so I think that can really help to strengthen the pipeline of what social entrepreneurship is and, and who the social entrepreneurs are coming in like instead of coming in without any idea they're coming in hopefully with like a more uh, like a deeper understanding and that can lead to their you know to to them being more successful so yeah All right. thank you thank you yeah um i have a final question for you um have you ever been to a hackathon or like because you're um you're in university right now so mm -hmm. um have there been hackathons on campus and what is your view of, of hackathons in general? Okay, so I personally haven't really been to like a kind of like named hackathon per se, but I have like experienced certain events that are similar to hackathons. Um, and from my experience, I've really enjoyed them because it's kind of just like you get to work in a team and you kind of get to collaborate together and like share ideas to try and come up with something. And, it's always fun to kind of compete against other teams as well. Um, and I think there's a lot of like adrenaline that's involved too, like you kind of time put on the spot. And I really think that they're fun to participate in. That's cool. Um, well, I think this is our first little mini impact chat and you kind of hopefully people like learned a little bit more impact on, they got to meet Prashant and see someone who's brand new to this as well. Um, and thanks, Prashant, for all your work as intern. It's been, it's amazing. And I'm excited for you to experience your first Impactathon coming up. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure.